Infinite Land Adult. Alternate land adult. Oh, that's a type of liquor. It's like a type of beer. I didn't start drinking until I stopped smoking. Like malt liquor? Yeah. That's a type of liquor. That's like like IPA is one, lager is one. uh, I'm sure y'all start drinking at like 13, 14, shit, trying liquor, right? You you damn scared. Well, no. (laughs) (laughs) You niggas is alcoholic. You damn scared. With, y'all <laughs> niggas drink like cowboys. You damn skippy. My first drink was Heineken and Jack. Speaking of, where's my cup of, of, of Jack Daniels? <laughs> first drinks. I, sm- I was a weed smoker. So I would have, like, when I started performing, I would have a Long Island before I go on stage. That's when I really first started drinking in my 20s. No. You niggas started at, like, five. No. I guarantee, I guarantee I both of y'all had y'all first try of anything liquory. Before 12, bro. Agreed. I, had, I did. I had oh. a shot. My dad gave me a shot of old oh. style when I was like nine, something like that. Because I, I kept begging. Like, what is, that? What, is that? what is that? What is that? Yeah, that's it. Now, the first time I was watching baseball. Now, the first time count. I actually had my Shit. own beer, I was 13. Everywhere else, they let their kids drink. Like, everywhere except America. They be drinking wine. Because with well, the age is 18 in a lot of places. Age is 16. Yeah. yeah. Certain yeah. Places, yeah it's 16. It's 16. Certain places, 18, 16. Yeah. I think ain't it 18 in Canada? Is that Thunder, nigga? I liquor, say it be 18 in Canada. Liquor is horrible, bro. When? Spirits are No, it's fun. Mm. But then the next day, bro, like, you don't want to do shit. You hunk over. You be, I be bedridden after I drink heavy, like, one day, bro. But you, just what you don't drink heavy. Like, as you get older, you should kind of be like, like, most people who drink. Joke. No. No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. Most people who drink like that. Yeah. Right. They get to a point where it's like, I can't drink this no more, right? And then they also figure out, oh, this is my limit. I'm going to try to stay right here. I'm not going to go. And if I go past it, I already know what I got to deal with, what I'm going to be on. I, I got a free day coming tomorrow. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you, as you get older. When you're young, you're just like, fuck it. If you started drinking at like 13 or 14, mm-hmm. when did you identify your limit? That's like at 17, Hell 18, no. right? Hell no. When you so identify your college, limit? Yeah, like when you I know, mean, I like, guess it depends on on how much you're consuming. You know what I'm saying? I it started in my 20s, so my my scale is fucked up. But even that, it changes because your limit when you was like 17, 16 wasn't that much, and then when you had college, that shit went crazy, and you in your early 20s, that shit nuts, and then when you reach your late 20s, you like, I don't need to slow down. When you hit your 30s, you like, oh shit. When you hit 40, it's like, all right, man, fuck this shit. Mm. When you hit 40, that's when the motherfucking hangovers take two days. I think I'm trying to catch Unless up to y'all. That's why no, no, I'm no. fucking myself. Unless you're on. an alcoholic, hangovers don't hit you when you're 40 because you just get up and drink. So out of you three, who's the alcoholic? Who Who is the agreed upon alcoholic out of you three? This dude. He looked like fucking Grady. <laughs> I knew it was him. He looked like Grady. You ever, you ever notice, regardless of the time we record a pod, this nigga always walking with a drink? Got to. You do <laughs> you with your own fucking drink every week, bro. I don't give a fuck what it is. It's some type of can of some sort. It feels like I'm being judged. No, yeah, we're not. I'm yeah. not we just making an observation. I know niggas worse than you, so I mean. I do too. Yeah. But am I? I don't know. You no, come bad. in. You I'm come in bad. with the shit that pirates used to drink. Your shit look like a yo yo <laughs> hoe in a bottle of rum. <laughs> just, nigga. You grand money, I ain't never knew what that shit was. I go in there, I'm like, you know what? I'm finna buy the guys. I know what they drink. I I seen the price of them bottles. I'm like, you know, I ain't even buy no. I don't even drink that shit. But I don't be getting hangovers like that off that shit too. Either. That's the other reason why I drink that. shit. I used to drink Hennessy, like in college, nigga. I was fucking guzzling Hennessy left and right. But then it got to a point I can't drink that shit. You black. It should have started at that point. You black Jeez. and you young. You was born in the '70s, late '70s. Yeah. You drink like you was born in 1873 or something. You drink like you get your liquor from a saloon. (laughs) (laughs) This nigga drink. I ain't never drunk whiskey in my life till I came over here with you niggas, man. I I drink shit that you got to like have a cigar. And I'm older than you. A saloon. All the bottles just say whiskey. This nigga, this is this nigga whiskey is in French. It say gravelle or something. You been untitled? Either y'all ever been untitled? Yeah, yeah. The, bar. the bar, the bar, yeah, yeah. and shit with the whole you got the locker and shit. Yeah. That nigga would lose his fucking mind. You niggas literally looking at that fucking wall you of fucking whiskey. Go to bars to drink. 
Untitled is some other. No, this no, is, it's, a, is different. It's, it's got a burlesque show. It's got a whole and yeah, it's a thing, whole different. Man. Yeah, it ain't I, a bar. I, I, I bet you niggas go to beer tastings and everything. Like I have. Oh, they having a new <laughs> beer tasting. Like, <laughs> I have. Go and see what this, <laughs> nigga, you know how bent you get off that shit, nigga. What be free? Free? Oh, can it be free? free. It's Damn. a lot of motherfuckers free signing up. It's yes, tasting. nigga. It's yes, tasting. it's free. No money. Damn. You just gotta sign up, and if you get in line quick enough, how much you can taste. Depends on it. Depends, it depends on which one it is. Yeah. It depends. But it's just it's all I mean, from that brand, from that brewery. Yeah. Right. So that brewery, you'll taste. You know what I'm saying? So you seven keep, different, seven, yeah. eight different uh, demos. Look, but, look, but look, and, they, nah. and they don't give you uh, look, tall. y'all. They know how the this liquor. Shit no, work. the liquor ones yeah, are even no, better. The though. liquor ones are yeah, dope. Like yeah. Hennessy had the Hennessy got they they had the best events. Heineken got the beer joints, but uh, it's a lot of uh, work mixes. So it's like from five to seven. Right. It's always it's like literally five to right seven. when you, when most people get off, off work. And it's, it's in like when you go home, have a That's drink. Smart. In yeah. a downtown. Yeah. Trying to wind down. 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 But they also trying to get you to stay. So mm-hmm. it's right. like soon as seven o'clock, seven o'clock here. Full price, bitch. No, everything's full price. Let's go. And if you're in the middle of So the they normally have them on Fridays? No. Any day. Wednesday? They don't have it on Friday because they already got the business on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They do it on a Monday or a Wednesday or in the middle of a week. It be some. Fuck's getting drunk. Drunk, drunk on a drunk. Monday. No, it ain't even drunk. a whole week to go nigga. to work. You go to a rooftop for a fucking Jack Daniels fucking tasting, and you drinking some fucking Jack Daniels that's fucking in a spot would be like a thousand dollars a shot. And you on top of the, you in the middle of downtown, yeah, downtown. 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 on, on, the, top, on the top of a hotel roof looking at the sky. Good temperature. Whoa, 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 listen, wait, whoa, listen. Whoa, whoa, Let me set the scene whoa, whoa, whoa. for you. You, you, you in the, the ambiance. Yes. You're in the middle that. of downtown. So it's a thousand dollars because of the ambiance. Not no, the no, no, no. You're not paying a thousand. I'm saying you're not paying nothing for this. But if you was, no, if you was out, it would probably, I'm it would cost you a thousand. Oh, because you shot, 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 shot. Like, okay, like, okay. like the Wit Hotel or it's certain hotels where the rooftop will open up. They'll open it up. They already got a DJ spinning. You looking at the skyline. They got the nice little music. The music ain't high where you can't hear. It's nice. You done looked up and you done spent a thousand dollars. No, you spending yeah, no, no money. His, you his, keep going back to this this money. No, I don't know no why. Money. He no, said a thousand. No, no, I'm talking about the value of the, the liquor. Value if you go on the any other liquor. night outside of this night, you would probably spend a thousand dollars. But this okay, night, okay, everything okay. Is free. okay, okay, okay. But even this, they might do something like this. This brewery is here, so everything that's from this brewery is free, but everything else costs. Yep. So, like mm. Hen- Hennessy is free, right? But if you don't Make drink Hennessy, Hennessy, then you got to pay sixteen dollars for, gotcha. your, for your all drink. Right, like, right, Hennessy right. is free, so niggas is drinking Hennessy shit they never had before, and that's how you get introduced to like a Hennessy. So when y'all taking mm-hmm. me to a motherfucking thing or thing, all you gotta do is sign up. Yeah, I sign. I, I look around. I look around and see. I ask because I know I know some him, niggas that go to them shits all the time. You used to go to the emails every fucking week. I still get them emails. I don't. McClellan. That was McClellan. That's the one you got. That shit. They had one on the boat, but they was taking niggas out. I would like. I would like y'all to. To that accompany me to good. take well, you're gonna be at work, nigga. Yep. It happened in a, uh, well, it's something you have to plan for because you got to get it's basically like this it's like when this shit get released, it's a sign up, and then the days start running out, running out, running out, and you got to get your name on the RSVP list. Now, you got to show up at the time at because the time. they are kind of capacity and then they have like a waiting list or whatever, but but you got to get there. So you can't really like if you sign up for it on this date, you got to just take the day off then if you know you're gonna want to go. It ain't a party, I ain't doing all that, yeah. Shit. Welcome to episode two, <laughs> two thirty, of the Lot Podcast, man. <laughs> two hundred. He upset. He like, yeah, fuck that shit. I don't have this whole motherfucking dialogue about the shit and just to find out I ain't going to them. <laughs> they don't have them on Saturdays and Sunday, apparently. Oh. They, they oh. get money already. Yeah, they, clubs is open. We got a great show lined up for you. Got me, myself, Javen, Ahmad, and uh, Leron. Lost weight that's what week. my mama named me. Lost L. Yeah, that's the street name. He looking thinner, y'all. He lost weight this week. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. <laughs> you know, I've been eating. Uh, 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 I've been eating foliage. Jesus God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the right? Did I use it right? My it's, it's foliage. It's foliage. All, good. It's all, good. all right. That's you know I've been eating foliage <laughs> of sorts. 